Finishing this film has lifted a weight that I've been having since I was 20. Katrina Babies explores the narratives of those who were young during the storm. It is also um, intertwined with my personal story, and I am the uh, director, and that makes way for um, my peers, my family, and my community to also share their stories. Since the storm, it seems like everybody just moved on. In America, especially during disaster, black children are not even a thought. It took me seven years to make this film. Um, I didn't insert myself into the film until year six. I didn't think that my story stood up um, in the right way to the other stories. And I didn't realize that I had trauma as well. It was hard. It was hard to become vulnerable with a story like this. You know, it was hard to put my life and put my uh, family's life and put my past and my trauma all on my like, camera. One day, like I just said, you know, what if I did a story about the uh, children who experienced Hurricane Katrina? And, you know, to carry the weight of Hurricane Katrina, but also to carry like the weight of a whole city and a collective trauma is very intimidating for a 20, you know, something year old. And then one one day, my cousin Tina, uh, her, like, in this picture right here, um, and she called for a holiday season, and she was very, very sad um, because she had been displaced after Hurricane Katrina. She and I spoke on that holiday, and she started to tell me about the, her experience and her children's experience during Hurricane Katrina. And when she told me that story, something just clicked. I was like, what if this is something that is common amongst all of young people? And like, what if this is the reason that, you know, they are acting out? So I initially just wanted to draw parallels between Hurricane Katrina and the current state of New Orleans, Jute. We knew that, you know, at the very beginning, we knew that animation could help us tell the story better. It creates... Um, this way for viewers to become more vulnerable and receptive to the hard conversations that are being had. Maybe you should take one. There were moments where I could not have imagined that the film would be this global, right? That the film would be on such a platform like HBO. At first, I wanted to settle for just making the film and putting it on YouTube. Seriously, like, that was my plan. I was going to put it on YouTube and you know hope that i can get a bunch of views and like i would have been happy with that honestly have you ever like talked about this before no i haven't why are you that i don't know nobody not really they not really ask me uh i knew that no one ever asked me but i didn't realize how important that was right that was shocking i'm like wait why hasn't anyone spoken to us about how we are doing the reason that I made this film was because it seemed like the government didn't learn anything. It, it, it seemed like they didn't, you know, want to learn anything. Um, I, I don't think that I'm in position to really say if the government learned anything, but I can say that from my perspective and my opinion and my community's perspective, it doesn't seem like they learned shit. <laughs> so, um, but I don't know. I, I, hey, hey, I... I I hope that they learn something. Um, you know, I hope that this film has taught them something. When I got back after Katrina, I naively thought that everything was gonna be normal again. I want healing, I want justice, I want um, accountability when it comes to black New Orleans. Um, it's super, super important. And I want people to pay attention to children. I want people to, you know, check on the children, ask children how they are doing. Those are, I think, two things that I really want people to uh, take away from this film.